Hello and welcome to my video. For today's video, I want to talk about news that happened on February 26, 2017. I didn't even think it was possible, but it actually happened. A licensed cannabis producer called Kronos Group has managed to land onto the NASDAQ. And if you're not aware, this is the first time a cannabis producer operating in both the United States and Canada managed to get onto a major US exchange. To be traded on the NASDAQ is a huge deal. And I'm sure anyone who watches the news will once in a while hear something along the lines of the NASDAQ has dropped 20 points or has gone up 50 points. What exactly is the NASDAQ? For those of you who don't know, I'll quickly summarize this for you. It stands for National Association of Securities Dealers Automated Quotations. NASDAQ is the world's first electronic stock market established in 1971 and the second largest exchange in the world situated in the United States. It is essentially a platform where stocks are traded safely because in order for a company to be traded on the NASDAQ, they have to meet the following requirements. They have to be registered with the United States Securities and Exchange Commission and they have to have at least three market markers. Market markers are financial companies that perform the duties of brokers, dealers for certain securities. And they have to meet the minimum requirements for assets, capital, public shares, and shareholders. For all these requirements, the NASDAQ platform provides the benefits of facilitating liquidity, providing transparency, and maintaining the current market price. Kronos Group is expecting its common shares to start trading on the NASDAQ on February 27, 2018 under the trading ticker symbol CRON. Kronos Group will retain its listing on the TSX Venture Exchange under the symbol MJN. Kronos Group considers their listing on the NASDAQ a major corporate milestone, and rightly so. Being traded on the NASDAQ will help strengthen their corporation locally and eventually globally. They also believe this will help retain the confidence of their long-term investors and help attract more and larger investors. If you guys are not aware, the CEO of Cronus has a dual citizenship. One Canadian and one United States. This is just me speculating, but I think it's because of his US background is how he managed to land his company on the NASDAQ. Hopefully this is only the start. And in the future, we hope to see Aurora, Afira, and Canopy on the NASDAQ. Kronos Group is a globally diversified and vertically integrated cannabis company with a presence across four continents. The company operates two wholly owned Canadian licensed producers. They are considered the fourth biggest cannabis company in Canada in terms of market capital. Peace Naturals Project Incorporated, a company under Kronos Group, has a facility located in Stainer, Ontario with 95 acres allotted for cannabis production. Peace Naturals Project Incorporated also has over 150 GMP certifications from Germany, which stands for Goods Manufacturing Practice. The facility can produce up to 7,000 kilograms of product within the existing 70,000 square feet of space. Kronos is focused on providing pharmaceutical grade medicine to patients in need. Kronos Australia is a 50-50 joint venture between the Kronos Group and New Southern Capital Party Limited. Kronos Australia will serve as the group's hub for Australia, New Zealand and Southeast Asia. This helps strengthen their capabilities to import, export and distribute across their worldwide network. Kronos Australia will start building their facility in phases on 120 acres of land. They will start construction of phase one of an all-purpose built facility on 20,000 square feet that they expect to yield 2,000 kilograms of product. They are expecting Peace Naturals to also chip in to help provide premium quality medical cannabis to support their Australian patients if the import license for Australia is approved. The facility currently being constructed is built to the GMP Goods Manufacturing Processes and GPP Goods Production Practices Standards is already being considered up for expansion. All the construction standards have been designed to meet Cronus' best in class quality and this ensures that the quality assurance is guaranteed across the board. Kronos Group has a joint venture in Israel with the Kibbutz Gan Shmuel Group for the production, manufacturing, and distribution of medical cannabis. The Gan Shmuel Group already exports a variety of products to 35 countries in Europe and Asia. Being situated in Israel allows them to produce year-round because of the warm climate and abundant lighting without the need for supplemental flower lighting. 
Furthermore, their skilled labor force allows them to produce high quality medical cannabis somewhere in the range of 40 to 50 cents per gram, which basically translates into high efficiency, low cost and large scale production standards to meet global demand. Following their consistent premium quality manufacturing standards, they expect 5,000 kilograms of product annually from the construction of a 45,000 square feet greenhouse, along with a separate 11,000 square feet facility for research and development. Being situated on 4,939 acres of mixed-use agricultural and industrial land allows Gan Shmuel to expand and predict production values of up to 100,000 kilograms of product. This isn't just about becoming the lowest cost producer in the world. Establishing a major operation in Israel gives us a frontline exposure to leading medical cannabis research and innovation. Kronos Israel is a significant step in raising the standard of medical cannabis globally, said Mike Gornstein, CEO of Kronos. Kronos has exclusive supply agreement with Paul Boschkamp, an international pharmaceutical manufacturer and supplier founded in 1835. Pol distributes products to over 12,000 German pharmacies and German Parliament implemented health insurance coverage for patients. Kronos also has a 21.5% stake in Whistler Medical Marijuana Corp, which is not a publicly traded company. They are also the first company to produce organic cannabis. I have more time to look into other medical cannabis companies, which is good because I believe knowledge is power and making these videos really helped me learn more about the cannabis industry. Thanks for watching. If you dislike this video, please give me a thumbs down. Subscribe for future updates and have a good day.